up YouTube, Topaz Ace back for another daily review, and this one is to that big crit so bad. And what he's rapping about on here, obviously, is his aspirations and determination for things that he actually wanted out of his life, but yet it goes through a maturity process from first verse to the last verse. Like, the first verse, what he's rapping about is how he wants to be the one that comes out of Mississippi, do things that nobody else around him has done or will ever fucking do, like him having these grand aspirations for his life. And then the second verse, he jumps into things like, okay, the actual materialism things that he wants, like he should want to have that car, want to have that jewelry, want to have all of that shit. But then the last verse, he definitely starts getting into things of substance, like what he really wants to do is chill out with his woman, how he really wants to chill out with his family, man, and this is exactly how we as men tend to mature over our lifespan, man. Like, we start out having these great endeavors that we want to do, but in the end, you kind of realize what's most important is chilling out with family and doing things the right way. Overall, it's a track rather interesting, man, because it's not a 4-4 timing sample produced there by Big Crip, man. And, you know, usually when dudes go this route, I usually be like, okay, they're just trying to be different. They're trying to do something, but usually it gets in their own way because 4-4 timing is just natural for the ears and such, man. Anything else, you're getting into other shit. And overall, that production, it wasn't bad by any long stretch of the imagination, man. But if you're going to do anything other than 4-4 timing, it has to be fucking phenomenal. And that's just not what we got here. I mean, my favorite part of this track is when that beat finally dropped for the third boss, man. That joint was pretty solid. But besides that, it's a decent listen. But I expect so much more from Big Crit, man, because he has put out so much great music in the past. But still, one I definitely recommend people to go ahead and peep out. But this concludes today's review. And now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Kyle Producer before we jump into some of your questions. So Red Stats says that the whole no substance styled rapper and such is only a temporary thing in the game. And you know what? Nah, bruh. They've been around for too long. Sure, on the individual basis and such, man, the timing, usually they don't stick around for that long. But think about it. These types of rappers and such have been around since Laffy Taffy and White Tees and all of that shit, man. A very long fucking time. If it was temporary, they would have been done by now, man. This shit is here to stay. It's just so many different rappers are doing it and they're only getting like five minutes of shine before the next one. And DKDY is saying about Young Thug that only hipster publications and such are putting him out there and that's why he's so famous and such. Nah, bruh. He's getting major level promotion from record labels. This is what record labels think that people want to hear and such, man. And ultimately, since they control the game, that's the priority, man. They're going to definitely continue to dilute the game using this shit. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.